Nashville's internationally acclaimed violinist Melissa White. She is rehearsing to make her debut with the BPO this weekend. She recently became a professor of music at UB. And perhaps more importantly, she is fresh off winning a Grammy Award last month as the founding member or one of the founding members of the Harlem Quartet. And she's joining us in studio right now, fresh off that rehearsal. And congratulations in person for your Grammy win. You won with your group for Best Classical Compendium. Yes. And it was a history making win. Uh, that's true. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for being here. Tell us about uh, what that experience was like at the Grammys. It was all a shock. So um, we were nominated for our album. It's called Passion for Bach and Coltrane. And um, we went to the Grammys. And even though you're there, you don't expect to win. So you're just really surprised. It was a wonderful say, surprise. It's an honor to be nominated, right? <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. So um, we love the project, though. It really is heartfelt. And we feel strongly about it. So we love that more people might get to hear it now. And that there you are with your Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> and where is that Grammy now? Well, it's being mailed to me. So I don't actually have it yet. OK. Very excited. So and the group is the Harlem Quartet. You're one of the founding members. Tell me a little bit more about the group. Yes. So on the album, it is the Harlem Quartet, the Amani Winds, um, a jazz trio, and then spoken word poet A.B. Spellman. Had you ever been nominated before? Not exactly. So the Harlem Quartet's been a part of Grammy Wins with Chick Corea, um, a piece we composed with him in 2014 one. Uh, this will be our first statue, though. Your first statue as your group. Just yeah. amazing. And there you are playing your violin on Instagram. <laughs> and you're a new faculty member at UB. Yes. As the only professor of violin there. Yes, for right now, yeah. How, how has that been? It's been wonderful. So I began in the fall of 2022. Um, and it's been great getting to meet the students, working with my colleagues is wonderful, and getting to know Buffalo has been fun. And do you recruit for the violins all over the country? Or I how do. Does that work? So I travel around the world performing, um, and it's really nice to be able to share with violinists that now I have a home that I can invite them to come join me and to work with me and also the other wonderful faculty at UB. What got you started with the violin? I first started when I was six because I saw the violin on Sesame Street when I was four. <laughs> and I just loved, it was Isaac Perlman on the episode and I loved how his chin fit perfectly in the chin rest. And so when the show went off, I asked for a violin, but my mom didn't immediately say yes. And I had to beg for years. two years, exactly. <laughs> Very cool. And now you're going to be making your BPO debut. You're playing a concerto by Mendelssohn? Uh, actually, my concerto is by Florence Price. Okay. Yes, so Florence Price is an African-American female composer. We almost lost her catalog of music, but it was found in her summer home um, not so many years back. And so now her name is becoming better known and she's being programmed a lot, which is wonderful. What's it been like working with the music and also working with the BPO? It's been great. Her writing, I think, is very soulful um, and lovely. I enjoy playing it. And working with the BPO has just been a dream. They're so kind. They sound so great. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And can you just explain what it's like to see a concerto if someone's unfamiliar with what that is? That's an interesting question, because although we read the music and we know what's in front of us, we really are um, orally trained. So we're used to hearing things and knowing how it goes by ear. So it's like a, a little scavenger hunt of unknown doors you open and you weren't expecting that behind the door. But it's a treat to be surprised and then to hear beautiful music on the other side. It's a special experience being the audience for one for sure. And your performances are tomorrow morning? Yes. And then Saturday night? That's right. So okay. tomorrow morning, 10.30 a.m., Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. All right, Grammy winning violinist Melissa White in studio with us this morning. She is this afternoon. That's the second time I've said that today. <laughs> She's with the BPO this weekend. Thank you so much yeah. for coming. Thanks for having Break me. Break a leg this weekend. Thank you. So you're